Hello, hello. I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you for tuning into our Arizona Real Estate channel and for watching our videos. My name is Sean Rogers, the lead of the Mr. Rogers Homes team, and we would be happy, actually honored, to assist with your real estate needs, be it buying and or selling, renting, investing, perhaps it's time to upsize or downsize. We do it all. My contact information can be found in the description below. But for now, what you've been waiting for. Short video on the top 1031 exchange tips. Congress is mulling over the direction of the 1031. So it's a perfect time to review some of the tips of the 1031 exchange. Show me the money! Number one, 1031 exchanges are under threat of elimination or heavy restrictions by Congress and the administration. Two, 1031s are not a tax loophole. Three, 1031 exchanges allow taxpayers to defer taxes. Four, to find out if a 1031 exchange makes sense to you, you should do a quick five-point analysis. Five, there are many non-tax reasons to perform or execute a 1031 exchange. Next, tip number six for the 1031 tips. As a general rule to fully defer taxes, Taxpayers should purchase replacement property with a value equal to or greater than the relinquished property and reinvest all net proceeds into that new replacement property. If the taxpayer purchases property of lesser value or doesn't reinvest all of the proceeds, the difference is considered taxable boot and the exchange becomes a partial exchange with a partial tax deferral. You're killing me, Smalls. On to number seven. 1031 exchanges follow strict timelines. Number eight. To avoid having a taxable event, taxpayers may not have actual or constructive receipts of the proceeds from their relinquished property or property sale. Next, tip number nine. Exchanges between relative parties are permitted. However, specific rules must be followed. That's the missing piece. Tip number 10. Partnerships and LLCs can utilize 1031 exchanges. Last but not least, tip number 11. And before I get on to tip number 11, I truly hope you enjoyed our videos. If you did, please hit that thumbs up, leave us a comment, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you so very much. Okay, tip number 11 for a 1031 exchange, reverse exchanges where an exchanger buys first and sells second may give you the advantage to maximize your tax deferral. Oh my God, that's perfect. Well, there you go. Hope it helps. Until next time, God bless America and take care.